so far we discussed the topic of two points then three points then four points let's come back to two points again very interesting we are again coming to the two points so we are going to discuss about midpoint so what does midpoint mean we know if you have a line you divide into two equal parts remember two equal parts it plays very important role we need to divide into two equal parts many times we have done like eating a chocolate simple thing that tu aadhi de de mujhe aadhi tu rakh right so we are dividing into two we are doing half of that chocolate so same we are going to do for this coordinate geometry as well for two point let's start with the number line most simple number line right i have taken of 8 cm and i have taken a line segment from it not you can see that the arrows are not there on both side but it is a line segment means if there is a long number line i'm taking only part of it part of it i'm taking of it so it is of 8 cm considered as 8 cm not exactly but kind of 8 cm okay so i want to find the midpoint of it you can very easily say sir it is at 4 done right but we need to understand that what we are doing at that time okay so i am agree that this is the midpoint right i can say that this is the midpoint of this number line now we know that we are going to divide 8 divide by 2 and we get the answer let's do little bit sophisticated method okay so let's say if i want to find the midpoint what i am going to do i am going to add 0 and 8 and divide by 2 Zero plus eight divided by two will give me eight by two. So what is my midpoint? Four. Midpoint is four. Let's say I give you starting point here. It is zero, but I give you some other starting point. Let's say I want to find the midpoint of between two and eight. Between two and eight. Remember, I'm saying here I have started with zero, but I'm asking you to try to get the midpoint. If I start from two. and i stop at 8 so that is 2 plus 8 that will give you what 10 divide by 2 will give you 5 so in that case your midpoint will be shifting to 5 so what have i done to find the midpoint you need to talk about the starting point you need to talk about the ending point add them and divide by 2 simple the most simple way first of all let's learn about the one dimension then we will deal with the two dimension which is coordinate geometry so we are clear how to do with the one dimension you take the starting point add the ending point and divide by 2 simplify and get your answer let's say if i this is only for the one dimension if i am doing for a two dimension i will be repeating this method second time as well first time it is done i need to do for second time as well so if i write the formula for coordinate geometry to find the midpoint the formula will be let's say i am saying that m is my midpoint of m comma xy because m for midpoint and if i want the formula that is x1 plus x2 divide by 2 and y1 plus y2 divide by 2 simple you already know how to find the midpoint for one number but we are talking about two dimension geometry 2d x axis and y axis so we need to do this calculation for x axis and also for the y axis now this x1 and x2 you can take any of the points let's say i am taking p x1 comma y1 and q which is x2 comma y2 and m is the midpoint of what guess right midpoint of pq line joining pq if i connect p and q if i join line between p and q and i want to get the midpoint what i need to do i need to add their x coordinates and divide by 2 comma i need to add their y coordinates and divide by 2 this is very very simple calculation this kind of questions are asked for one mark be prepared for it it is very easy concept forward question that you have coordinates then find the midpoint 
or reverse question you have midpoint and find the missing coordinate we are going to discuss questions now let's start with the first one so find midpoint of following points so we have two questions a and b let's start you can even start on your own it's very easy and then cross check your answer very simple it is okay so a3 5 and b5 3 so we have two points obviously we need to we need two points starting point and ending point okay so let's start so what i'm going to do let's say i'm going to find the midpoint m m x comma y done i'm not going to write the formula one more time here that's a repetition only i'm using this formula let's say i'm saying this is my x1 y1 and this is my x2 y2 if you are not able to judge if you are getting confused at which is my x1 and y1 please write in the question while you do the calculation it is very easy for you to get a clear idea you will not misplace the values okay let's solve it so i need to do x1 plus x2 so x1 is 3 so let me write 3 then formula says add them okay plus then x2 which is 5 and denominator what to done my x coordinate let's do for the y coordinate what i need to do y1 which is 5 then what we need to do plus refer the formula why i am taking plus why am i taking negative because i am referring to the formula learn the formula properly then y2 what is the y2 which is 3 over here and in denominator 2 let's simplify very simple calculation 3 plus 5 is, 3 plus 5 will be 8 and denominator 2 as it is 5 plus 3 again 8 and denominator 2 so if you do cancellation 2 ones are and 4s are 2 ones are and 4s are here so what is my midpoint 4 comma 4 simple this is my midpoint of line joining a and b done let's do the next question okay so my points now is x minus 5 7 and y 3 minus 2 again i am going to follow the same formula which is x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 very simple you can get your answer on your own you know it's very simple you need to be careful with the signs and the numbers you are choosing okay so this is my x1 comma y1 this is my x2 comma y2 this point i am taking as 1 and another point as 2 simple let's start so if i want to find the midpoint x comma m x comma y that's what i'm going to do x1 plus x2 so x1 is minus 5 x2 is 3 so minus 5 plus 3 divide by 2 and y1 plus y2 7 here 7 plus minus 2 and denominator also 2 be careful see whenever negative sign comes into picture you need to be little cautious and attentive don't get the wrong answer okay let's simplify minus 5 and plus 3 going to give you minus 2 and denominator 2 as well as it is 7 plus minus 2 this plus minus will become minus so that will be if i simplify it will become 7 minus 2 now 7 minus 2 what's the answer simple 5 by 2 then if we can do any kind of cancellation go ahead ones are ones are so here minus 1 and here 5 by 2 because i cannot do any kind of cancellation of 5 and 2 because 5 is odd number and 2 is even number 2 is whenever we have 2 in denominator we need to have even number in numerator then only we can divide otherwise we cannot so this is how we sums related to midpoint let's try to draw one uh, line as well that how we are able to see on the x and y axis or coordinate axis let's try to do that as well very interesting so let's do here for this sum only i think okay so let's say i'm drawing y axis simple and x axis done remember i am just estimating the coordinates i will not be able to draw the exact position of this coordinates if you want to try take the graph paper plot the points and go ahead it will be interesting result y and y dash x and x dash don't forget the origin from where it starts okay so let's say i am plotting the first point minus 5 and 7 so x minus 5 will be somewhere here okay and i need to get y coordinate 7 so a little bit up okay here here is my point x okay y 3 minus 2 
so x coordinate i will be taking 3 okay let's say somewhere here and i need to go down which is minus 2 okay so minus 2 over here this is my y point so if i connect let's say let's connect them x and y it will be kind of a straight line because when we connect two points we always get straight line remember and what is my midpoint my answer is minus 1 and 5 by 2 so x i need to take minus 1 somewhere over here and 5 by 2 if i divide and if i get the answer in decimal that will be what 2.5 okay so 2.5 this was my 3 so somewhere here i will be getting my answer this is my m which is midpoint so you can see approximately divides i have just done the estimation so it will be coming the same ratio on both of the side whatever is the length of x m will be the same length of m y midpoint right so this is how we do the calculations related to midpoint let's do other sums let's discuss few sums related to application of midpoint let's start find the center of a circle okay we need to find the center and we are talking about this circle geometry whose end points of diameter are minus 6 3 and 6 4 okay so we need to find the center of a circle and end points of diameter first of all let's draw the figure i'm just drawing the rough sketch don't confuse here let's start so this is let's say a circle right and we need to we are interested in the center so when we talk about the center and indirectly it is given that there is a one point over here let's say a one point over b and we want to find the center c so how can we find yes it is related to midpoint so what i'm going to do i'm going to take two coordinates i'm going to find a midpoint and that will be the center of the circle because we know that diameter is equal to two times radius that d is equal to 2r we write generally so center divides diameter into two equal parts this is the important information we need to learn let's start so i'm naming the first point as a which is minus 6 and 3 and b as 6 comma 4 now let's find the center so center let's take it as a c x comma y why c because it is center c and we know the midpoint formula what is that x1 plus x2 by 2 here x and y i will be writing then let's write the formula x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 very simple formula let's write the x1 and x2 so this is my x1 comma y1 and this is my x2 comma y2 remember that it is easy to do the calculation so my x1 is minus 6 minus 6 plus my x2 is 6 okay and 2 in denominator my y1 is 3 plus my y2 is 4 and denominator 2 so minus 6 and plus 6 will give you 0 so here only 0 by 2 and in this case 3 plus 3 plus 4 will give you 7 by 2 what is the center coordinates of center which is 0 comma 7 by 2 this is my answer x and y done the center of this circle is 0 comma 7 by 2 let's do the second question this was the first answer very simple diameter and points were given we wanted to find the center get the two points at the x coordinate at the y coordinate divide by two and get the answer let's do the next question find the coordinates of a point a where a b is the diameter of a circle okay interesting a b is the diameter of a circle and we need to find the coordinates of a what are the coordinates of a we are finding then whose center is 2 comma minus 3 and b is the point 1 comma 4 okay so we need to get let's draw the circle first let's start with the circle most important concept right so this is a kind of a circle let's write again a over here b over here and c 
why have i written a and b it is given that a b is the diameter of a circle so a b is the diameter of a circle and circle should have one center so it is c now let's write the coordinates which is given in question it is given that whose center is 2 comma minus 3 so it is given that c let's write over here c is 2 comma minus 3 done and b is the point what is the coordinates of b which is 1 comma 4 we need to find the coordinates of a this is very interesting question very interesting we are going to use this same formula but we are going to do in reverse manner i told you in the previous session you may have questions related to that points are given and find the coordinates or midpoints and if midpoint is given and find the points right this is what we are going to do we have uh, we have midpoint and the point given with us but one of the point is given so this is the reverse question where midpoint is given and we need to find the point remember identify the forward question or reverse question that will be very easy to solve this sum let's start so if i want to find the a i'm going to use the formula of midpoint let's say c 2 comma minus 3 why instead of i'm writing x y 2 comma minus 3 because it is given already given in question so let's apply the formula x1 plus x2 denominator 2 then y1 plus y2 denominator 2 simple then we need to name it x1 right we need to name y1 so let's say that a is x1 comma y1 and b is x2 comma y2 done so let's keep c as it is which is 2 comma minus 3 done now x1 as it is because i want to find then what is the value of x2 which is 1 over here 2 then y1 as it is then what is the y value of y2 4 then denominator as it is now now what to do what we are going to do we are going to equate each coordinate with each other now x will go with x and y will go with y see over here how am i writing i am writing equation as 2 is equal to x1 plus 1 by 2 done and i will be writing same for the y coordinate let's write for the y coordinate which is minus 3 remember minus 3 is equal to y1 plus what's that 4 by 2 remember here we get the equation in the one variable linear equation here and linear equation there as well so let's start i am still i'm repeating one more time take x coordinate equal to x coordinate of this take y coordinate equal to y coordinate lhs and rhs x goes with x y goes with y simple this two i will be multiplying so two twos are will be 4 is equal to x1 plus 1 let's shift 1 over here that is 4 minus 1 is equal to x1 so value of x1 is what 3 done my first answer my x coordinate of a let's find the second coordinate which is y so how to find this one let's start this 2 will be multiplied with 3 what will i get 2 3 is a 6 and minus sign as it is so minus 6 is equal to y1 plus 4 let's shift 4 over here minus 6 and this 4 will become minus so minus 4 is equal to y1 here minus 10 is equal to y1 so if i want to write the coordinates of point what a i want to write the coordinates of point a let's write here it is a x1 comma y1 so what's the value of a which is 3 and what's the value of y1 which is minus 10 so this will be the coordinate of point a remember this is the forward question and this is the reverse question where midpoint was given then we equated x coordinate with x and y coordinate with y and we solve the two equations and get the individual coordinate and get your answer let's do the last sum of this topic which is midpoint let's discuss last question of this topic okay read the question first as always if p 6 comma k by 2 is the midpoint it is written midpoint we are going to use concept of what 
मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन सेगमेंट ज्वाइनिंग द पॉइंट ए एट कॉमा फाइव एंड बी फोर कॉमा थ्री देन फाइन दी वैल्यू ऑफ के आई होप यू कैन डू दिस क्वेश्चन मिड पॉइंट ओके इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन एंड रिवर्स क्वेश्चन so in this session also first of all think is it a forward or reverse i told you first you need to identify that identification will help you to get the correct answer quickly you won't confused when in the middle of this step if you are identify that yes it is a reverse question it is a forward forward question okay so it is given that p is a midpoint so you can see midpoint is already given no what is there okay then what's the problem midpoint is also given and two points are also given but what's missing is there is a one value k if you see in a midpoint 6 comma k by 2 that k we need to find midpoint is also given midpoint bhi diya hai no points bhi diye hain hame k ki value find karni hai okay so we are going to use midpoint formula okay let's start what are we waiting for then so let's start the first of all write the points a 8 comma 5 and b what's that 4 comma Three and midpoint is P six comma K by two. So this information we have. Let's use the formula of midpoint. So let's say I am writing P midpoint six comma K by two. Why am I not writing X and Y? Because answer is already given. So here X one plus X two by two comma Y one plus Y two by two. Simple. Done. Now, which is my x one? Okay, this is and this y one. Then this is my x two comma y two. Done. Now let's solve it. So I will be writing six comma k by two as it is. Right. Let's substitute the value. X one is eight plus x two is four denominator two. Then y one is five plus Y two is three by two. Okay, let's simplify further. Six comma k by two is equal to eight plus four will give you twelve. So twelve by two. Then five plus three will give you eight. Then eight by two. Okay. Then six comma k by two as it is still here. Two ones are six are two ones are and four are. So six. Comma four is my answer. Now observe one thing in previous session. What we did, we compared x coordinate with x and y coordinate with y. So you can see that if my answer on RHS side is six, LHS is also six. So it is correct when we compare two coordinates, x with x, y with y, we are going to get the answer. So here also I am going to do that only. I am going to compare this k by two. With four, why k by two only? Because I want to find the value of k. Simple. I don't need to bother with six here because k is in the y coordinate. So let's start here. K by two is equal to four is my answer. Now how to get the value of k? Multiply with four and you get your value of k. So k is equal to four multiplied by two. So value of k is eight. This is how we find the missing. Or this is how we find the constant which is given in any of the three point. Maybe let's talk about अगर वो value let's say k or any alphabet a or b में दिया है. We can even do the same method. वही method कर सकते हैं and we can get the answer, right? So this is very easy concept. This kind of questions are being asked in one mark. So maybe MCQ or maybe one mark question. you need to prepare well and you can get easily so this was the topic of midpoint of line joining two points let's discuss one question here we are talking about the quadrilateral which is parallelogram let's see what is missing four vertices are given but one coordinate is missing i think two coordinates are missing let's find that if 1 comma 2 4 comma y X comma six and three comma five are the vertices of a parallelogram taken in order. Very important information. Taken in order. You need to keep the same order. You are not supposed to change the order. Keep the order same and find X and Y. Okay. So first of all, let's draw the parallelogram. 
parallelogram we are going to start with so yes simple let's say this is a parallelogram let's name it as a b c and d so there are four coordinates so let's name it so first of all a which is 1 comma 2 then b 4 comma y do not change the order c which is x comma 6 and d which is 3 comma 5 right so we need to find x and y how to do it we don't have any kind of specific formula for parallelogram i think we did not learn anything in this chapter so we need to use the concept that we learned and we need to recall the properties of parallelogram and we need to connect it coordinate system formula properties of parallelogram we need to connect it so how shall we do it a b c d vertices do we have it then x and y is missing okay i give you a hint let's start with the diagonals diagonals of parallelogram what is the property of diagonals of parallelogram they bisect each other diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other so let's say if i draw one diagonal which is ac so ac and another one which is bd so they are going to intersect at one point right so i'm going to take that as a midpoint of bd and midpoint of ac bisect matlab divide into two equal part this and this will be equal and one more thing here that this two part and this two part will be equal diagonals bisect each other so midpoint of ac and midpoint of bd will be equal this is the very important property that we are going to use to find the value of x and y let's start i'm going to write that midpoint of of what first of all let's start with ac is equal to midpoint of what bd another diagonal bd ac and bd so let's substitute the values ac so we are going to talk about midpoint of ac one c a and c remember don't take b there one plus x divide by two y divide by two midpoint formula then two plus six two plus six denominator two is equal to bd then i'm going to take value of b and d so four plus three 4 plus 3 by 2 comma y plus 5 so y plus 5 by 2 so how shall we approach you can see that x coordinate is missing but here x coordinate is not missing so let's compare x coordinate with x and y coordinate with y we are going to compare it let's start with the x first so here 1 plus x denominator 2 so 1 plus x denominator 2 is equal to what's that 4 plus 3 by 2 so 4 plus 3 by 2 right now common denominator will get cancelled 2 2 will get cancelled the reason behind that you multiply 2 over here you multiply 2 over here and you divide it again you are going to get the same answer so here it is 1 plus x is equal to 4 plus 3 7 shift 1 over here so x is equal to 7 minus 1 x is equal to 6 this is the value of x now let's get the value of y so value of y 2 plus 6 by 2 okay 2 plus 6 by 2 is equal to y coordinate y plus 5 by 2 y plus 5 by 2 simple again 2 2 will get cancelled so what's left 2 plus 6 8 is equal to y plus 3 let's shift 5 over here it will become negative so 8 minus 5 is equal to y so y is equal to 
simple which is 3. So the value of x and y is x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 3. Let's recall the step. First of all identify the shape it is parallelogram then we use the property of diagonals that they bisect each other divide into two equal parts this part this part equal AC is also divided into two equal parts so this midpoint is common this midpoint is common so midpoint of AC and midpoint of BD we use this formula and get compare the coordinates of x with x y with y and get the value of x and y 